I know we're we were just talking about you know you coming into Pride and finding some of these big guys, and you you came into Pride with a Muay Thai background. When did it become evident to you that you would need more than Muay Thai to uh, make it in mixed martial arts at the highest level of competition? At the moment that my train uh, my trainer Lishan Kabil uh, uh, in the first fight uh, didn't know what to do. Uh, our fight is always uh, I fight always like um, most of the time. I knew already before he said something like you'll be fighting or uh, he's my coach, you know, my coach. And uh, so he was always there like, go do this, go do that, uh, this knee, that knee or whatever. And most of the time I already knew it at the moment he said it. But this time I was a little lost, you know, got taken down all the time. And I looked at his corner and he looked at me and he didn't know what to do. So at that point I know, oh, wait a minute. No, uh, we, not prepa- we are not prepared for this. Is this are are you talking about right now when you were with Golden Glory? Um, yeah, that was like the first my first pride fight. Okay, so would you say uh, it, it sounds like you're saying that you know back then you know maybe the Golden Glory guys they didn't know about uh, uh, they didn't know as much about MMA as they do now, but obviously you're not with Golden Glory anymore, and uh, you know this is a, this is a topic that I wanted to talk about with you because you were in the UFC a little while ago and everybody knows just a couple weeks ago really uh, uh, there was a big discussion between uh, Golden Glory. And the UFC management and Dana White basically came out and said, uh, we don't like the way that Golden Glory does business. And that's why we haven't had anybody fight from Golden Glory since we had Semi Schilt in the UFC. It's been a while. What was your relationship like with uh, Golden Glory? And, uh, why did you part ways with them? Uh, did you not like uh, the way your, your, uh, your career was being handled or, or was it something else? What, uh, what was your experience with them? Well, first of all, Golden Glory was pretty much my idea. Um, you know, we got this, of course, I got my pride contract and, um, from there we got a couple other fighters in, uh, in, in the use, in the pride, uh, was, I think Farlopan over the, over him the time and he's hearing, and we started to build a group of fighters around us. So I told the guy, like, you know, why don't we, you make a big group, present ourselves to the world and, you know, and that's how uh, Gold of Glory started. Um, the, the. The big man behind Gold of Glory got in some trouble and he um, was pretty much out of the Gold of Glory, of, of all the Glory, Glory, uh, uh, of the Gold of Glory. And Bas Bone uh, was pretty much taking taken over. And on that point, um, uh, Heat Hearing, Sam Shield, and those guys got got into the into the pride, into the Gold of Glory. And those guys all got like got easy more easier fights than me you know them them uh i was pretty much their i said the right word guinea pig so and they thought like okay but it's getting getting beaten up or beaten by all the big guys let's take it more easy on these guys you know and i and at that point uh, i already lost three or four fights and the other guys got like uh, more easier opponents and I was like, you know, what's going on? You know, why do I have to fight the big monsters? Uh, you know, just throw me in there. And those guys get like uh, warble fights or better picks in, in their fights. And you know, pretty much uh, he started winning more, Sam started winning more, and they, I felt like they dropped me. You know, I, don't get, I didn't get my attention, I, you know. Uh, so... Um, yeah, I was uh, I was a little disappointed by the way things went, and Bus Bond was not really have had of he didn't have the best interest in me interest for me of in me, uh, and that's where I decide to uh, to leave uh, Gold of Glory. Okay, so uh, if I'm understanding this correct, before I mean after. You basically formed Golden Glory. This was before, or I guess I should say after your fights with Schilt and Valentin Overeem the first time. Yeah. Golden Glory didn't exist. You basically created Golden Glory when Pride came around. You wanted to get a group of guys together, essentially, I guess, yeah. like hammer houses in the States. And from there, it mm-hmm. formed into what it is today. Yes. So, okay, so if if you formed Golden Glory or were one of the main guys behind it, how exactly did boss Boone get involved if if you were the guy that created it because it sounds like maybe he came in and kind of backstabbed you in a way could you kind of help me explain uh, this a little bit 
Well, okay, let me explain. It's like okay, uh, I was like, you know what they what they do? They listen. You want to fight? You want to have Gilbert? Okay, then use this. Uh, you know, gonna sign a contract with Gilbert. Get this guy in. Uh, get this guy too, and this guy too. You know, this they want to do. Okay, let me explain it more better. Uh, Pride wanted to sign contract with me. They say, okay, you can have Gilbert, but you can take this fight this too for less amount of money, but. You know, otherwise you cannot have Gilbert. This is part of the deal. All right, so that was the pretty much the power of uh, the, the, the uh, having a, a, a fighter that they wanted to have. Now, um, at that point, you had, like, a lot of fighters work, uh, together, you know? And then I'm like, you know what, why don't we make a name for ourselves? And then the, the whole Roller Glory uh, concept came out of that. But Bas and uh, Ron were... Both already pretty much the guys who were doing doing the management of us and doing the negotiations of us. And at one point, as Ron, like the main guy, fell out uh, fell out for personal reasons. Um, uh, uh, Bus pretty much took over. Bus Ron, and Bus was more busy with making money and uh, business wise than thinking of the fighter. Okay, I, I think I understand it now. So it didn't really formally become uh, Golden Glory until you got involved. A lot of a lot of the guys that you had trained with, and Boss Boone included, he he kind of managed y'all. But as far as the Golden Glory yeah. term is concerned, or the name, that really didn't come around until you got involved with them. Uh, yeah, the, the idea come from you know we got us a four, five, six fighters, and let us. And I was like, you know what? Let why don't we. Uh, Presentate, presentate, or present, presents ourselves for the world. So we mo- we make this video clip. We got a song of it. We got a name, and we just threw uh, you know it's a few clips, all highlights of all the fighters, and we got this big team. And from there on, we we gave it a name. And the name Golden Glory came from there, and from there, at that point, it starts uh, getting bigger and bigger. <laughs> 